Hey everyone, and welcome back. Now we can continue on to the next castle. However, first of all, uh, we're going to take a little detour. Well, looking at my save game, um, I saw that I only completed 99.3% of the map. So, I looked at my map, and I found out that I was missing a few squares. Um, they're really close by the teleporter, so we're just going to go. There's a life max up in there, and I don't want you guys to freak out because you didn't see where it was. Uh, it's kind of easy to miss, simply because it's one of those areas where you don't think to come back to after you have the double jump. It is right up here. See? Just a hole in the wall. Pick it up. And now we can continue. Let's go fight Richter again. This time not killing him, and instead figuring out what has come over him. I mean, he has been acting a little psycho. It's not normal. Alright, teleport right back. Scorpion, nope. If you look at the animals, uh, right up there, you can kind of tell where you are. And this is the right spot. Hurry it up. Alrighty. Let's go. Hmm. Now, if you'll remember, Maria did give us something when we talked to her in that, you know, random room in the middle of the castle, so. We're gonna equip those holy glasses. And uh, I'll put on some holy mail as well because since we can't kill Richter, uh, we're just, we're, we're gonna kind of ignore him and so we're gonna take a few hits. Skipping the dialogue because it's the exact same dialogue as it was before. And uh, if you'll notice, a green orb has appeared right there. That is what we want to hit. We do not want to kill Richter and we still can kill Richter, so. You just want to be careful and uh, not hit him because Richter goes down in uh, quite a few, very few hits, as you saw earlier. So, there. So, as it turns out, Richter was being controlled by Shaft. Yes, from Dracula X, he is back. Well, it's about the same time frame, so it makes sense. And instead of the castle being swallowed up, we see something quite interesting. Epic music, of course. It's a new castle, and it's right above the old castle. It literally is the old castle, only upside down and uh, inverted. Actually, it's not even inverted. Actually, yes it is. It's inverted left to right and up and down. So, let's get to it. Because, obviously, that's where Shaft has gone to hide. And uh, we need to go get him. So we've solved the great mystery. We know why Richter was acting so funny, and now we lead them to see the new castle. Somehow teleporting through the spire. Yeah, no clue. Uh, first of all though, let's head back in there. Cause there's a square of map right above the teleport that we need. We're just gonna get that real quick. So we don't have to come back here. Right there, all right. Now we can move on and see something kind of sort of new, but really it's the exact same thing. Uh, if you'll see, we are at the bottom of the castle, 
whereas we were at the top when uh, in the normal one. It's exactly the same. The only thing that's different is the monsters. And they are much tougher here. Much tougher. There is a huge difficulty spike. But that, that still doesn't make the game difficult. Uh, if anything, gain a few level ups and you're fine. And you'll gain them fast. Also, uh, they were nice enough to put a lot of these in right here. A lot of them. And a royal cloak. I'm gonna stick with the blood cloak though because, uh, like I said, I do like the bonus because I use up hearts really fast. And uh, vampires simply look better in red. Let's finish this up. And let's get out of here. We need to explore. Oops, don't want that. The cross is really hard to use, and it uses a crap load of hearts each time. See, level up already. Yorick. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well, Horatios. Shakespeare, in case you didn't know. Now, whoopsies. Damn, that was horrible. And I've been working on my high jumps, too. Doesn't mean I'm good at it. Over here, secrets are exactly where we left them. Exactly. So, down here where we found our uh, mist relic, the wall is still here, and a uh, iron ball. Not great, but you know, might as well pick it up. Over here, is a garnet. Let me check the map. And right here is another wall from before. And in it is a sword. It's actually not a bad weapon, so perhaps we'll play with that later. Ah, I missed some map right here. Alright. Oops, wrong button. Let's just uh, complete this map and then I'm almost out of time, so we're, we're just going to call it a video after that. Ah, how did I miss some? Alright. Alright. Almost. See, this is much faster. I still haven't mastered it yet, so... I'll work on it. Anyways, another room right here with just a lot of resist potions. Like I said, don't use them, but I'll pick them up anyways. I like hoarding items. Potion right there. And, uh, let's go. Die again, Yurik. Oh, come on. I can do this. Oh, no I can't. Sorry, I didn't want to climb back up again just to risk falling. There are some awkward areas right here where it's hard to kind of jump up. This room again. And a library card. Yeah, just the baddest item is the one we got in the first castle. Anyways, with that done, uh, that'll be it for now. But next time, we continue to explore all of the inverted castle. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye now!